In the oceans are getting darker. In the last 20 years the depth to which the light reaches has decreased. New research has shown that in the last two decades 21.9% of the global ocean has experienced a depth reduction that it reaches the sunlight. 90% of all organisms live in these zones the sea. According to new research, more than one in the last 20 years fifth of all ocean waters, all the oceans and included in them seas, experience changes in optical properties. Depth decreases photoic zones upper layers of water through which light penetrates and in which the vegetation may develop. In these zones, 90% of all live the marine organisms. Results and description of the studies that were carried out by researchers from the University of Plymouth and Plymouth Marine Laboratory have appeared on Global Change Biology. In their work, the researchers used satellite data and numerical modeling to analyze annual changes in the depth of zones amatic on the planet. They found that between 2003 to 2022 21% Omnisonin, including large areas of both coastal regions and the open ocean became darker the depth to which the light comes. More than 9% of the global ocean has experienced a reduction the depth of the phonetic zone is more than 50 meters, and 2.6% by more than 100 m. But the researchers also found that in the analyzed period, about 10% of all ocean has increased its phonetic zones in the past 20 years. Although the exact implications of these changes are not entirely clear, scientists they claim that this could affect a huge number of marine species. These changes near the coast are probably caused through the runoff of the waters from agriculture containing nutrients, material organic and various settlements. In the open ocean it probably appears from changes in the dynamics of algae blooms and changes in sea surface temperatures, which they reduce the penetration of light into surface waters. This study shows how the ocean surface has changed color in the last 20 years. The results provide evidence that such changes cause widespread darkening that reduces the ocean area available for animals that rely on the sun and moon to survive and reproduction, said Thomas Davies of the University of Plymouth. Also in the ocean in its phonetic zones on the air, which we breathe, the fish we eat, our ability to fight climate change and the general health and well-being of the planet. With all this in mind, our findings are a real cause for concern, Davies said. Ocean is much more dynamic than often he thinks. For example, we know that the light level in the water column turns into within 24 hours, and animals whose behavior directly affects light, they are much more sensitive to its changes. If the phone zone it will decrease by about 50 m in large areas of the ocean, animals that they need light, they will be forced to approach the surface where they will have to compete for food and other resources they need. Maybe it is make fundamental changes across the entire marine ecosystem, Tim said. Smith of Plymouth Marine Laboratory Scientists in the study used Ocean Color Web NASA where you can view and analyze the data collected by different satellites about the color of the oceans and the temperature of their surface. To the, the platform of this ocean was divided into a grid of 9 km squares. This allowed to observe changes on the ocean surface for each of these squares, and the algorithm developed to measure light and seawater determined depth of the phone zones in each location. Researchers also used radiation intensity models solar and lunar to study specific changes that may affect on marine species under conditions of day and lunar light, showing that changes in the depth of the phonetic zone at night were minor compared to the day, but they were still ecologically important. Most visible changes in the depth of the phonetic zone to the northern parts of the Atlantic have been observed, where it flows Gulf Stream. Gulfstrom, and around the Arctic and Antarctica, the 
planet's regions the most experienced climate change. Changes in the depth of zones they are also public in coastal and sea regions closed and inland, like the Baltic Sea, where rain on land introduces to the sea, sediments, and nutrients from agriculture, stimulating the growth of plankton and reducing the availability of light. A combination of two drugs has extended the life of mice by about 30 the percentage. Two anti-cancer drugs in combination turned out to be extend the life of mice by about 30%. But this combination offers not only longer life rodents allowed to enjoy good health until late the old age. New research suggests a cocktail of these two drugs may be a promising strategy to combat age-related diseases and promote the longevity. New research that appeared in the journal Nature Aging, researchers at the Max Planck Institute for Biology of Aging, that the combination of rapamycin and trametinib extends the life of laboratory mice by about 30%. These drugs are used to treat various cancers and individually they also extended the life of mice, but in combination they work much better. A combination of both drugs affects gene expression differently than these drugs it is given separately. It also has a positive effect on the health of mice in old age by reducing inflammation in the body. In the study, Scientists added hundreds of mice to food rapamycin, trametinib, or both drugs from six months of age and checked, as long as the rodents will live and how their aging process will proceed. Trametinib and rapamycin have been shown to prolong the life of mice when administered separately, but offered even greater benefits when they were taken together. Scientists have shown that trametinib alone increased the lives of mice by 5 to 10%, and by itself rapamycin by 15 to 20 percent. But in combination, both means extended the life of the mouse by about 30 percent. Moreover, these drugs also reduced chronic inflammation and they delayed the development of cancer in aging rodents. Both drugs are used in anti-cancer therapies. Rapamycin is a strong geroctor a means that slows down the process aging and lengthening life. These measures affect the same signaling pathway the network RAS slash Insulina slash Tor, which regulates many processes, including aging processes and the development of cancer. In addition, rapamycin inhibits a protein called MTOR, which regulates cell division and death and are associated with the development of cancer and others the diseases. Trametinib, on the other hand, disrupts the molecular pathway called ras slash mec slash erc which it plays a role in the proliferation of cancer cells. In their work, Researchers found that the combination of these drugs it gives much better results that are probably not solely due to increased dose. Analysis of gene expression in different tissues showed that this the combination affects the activity of genes differently than is achieved by administration of drugs separately. Scientists have indicated that there are specific changes in gene activity that is caused only by the combination of these two drugs. Two drugs therapy delayed the growth of liver tumors and sliced in mice and reduced age-related inflammation in the brain, kidneys, spleen, and muscles. Animals seemed more active in the elderly compared to the control group mice. They also had with less body weight and more efficient parts. But mice are not human, and new discoveries do not mean that in a moment there will be funds on the market that extends life. It still needs make sure that the combination of these drugs works in humans and whether it is safe. The authors of the study indicated that both drugs were approved for use in the US and the EU, which should significantly speed up the conduct of clinical trials. Although we do not expect a similar human extension life we have seen in mice, we hope that the drugs we have studied they can help people stay healthy and disease free for longer. Further human research in the coming years will help us explain how these drugs can be useful to people and who they can benefit from. 
Linda Partridge from University College London in the UK and Institute Max Planck in Germany. Study authors emphasize that these two drugs may be good candidates for gerotrector, i.e. a class of drugs aimed at delay the onset of diseases and improvement of health of the elderly. However, for now scientists they plan to optimize the use of trametinib to maximize its benefits while minimizing side effects such as weight loss and damage to the liver. Trametinib, especially when combined with rapamycin, is a good candidate to test in clinical trials as a GERA protector. We hope our results will be used by others and tested on people. Currently, we focus on optimizing application trametinib in animal models, said Sebastian Gronke. Pas de soleil, pas de soleil, pas de soleil.